Here we go, fans. We're off to a fast start. We got Ryan McBride and Teddy Stigma with a pair of baseball slides to the best of round. Saw the best of round bringing in the security. Oh, and a double suicide dive by the former champions. They've got something to prove here. The best of round giving unwanted help at the last show on the Marmageddon when Ryan McBride and Teddy Stigma defended against NES. These men have been feuding all over all kinds of different federations. They have had a match in GBW. They've had a match in MCW. Now finally they're closing this feud right here in EWA. You see McBride and Teddy Stigma. They've got Bruce there from the best around. There's TJ on the outside with Teddy Stigma. Ooh, Ryan McBride meets that middle turnbuckle. This is not going to be a pretty match, fans. This is not about who can jump higher, who can fly better, who can do a better move. This is personal. And it, has, you, it has been a long night already. We've seen moves done on steps. We've seen moves done on chairs. We've seen people thrown in the guardrails. We've see, seen someone getting choked with a jacket. It is not going to end pleasantly in this contest. And in case you missed it when they did announce, Per the fans voting, this match is going to be a loser waves the other team's flag match. So if McBride and Stigma lose, they have to wave the Canadian flag. And if the best around lose, they have to wave the American flag. Better believe both of these men probably in strong contention. Ryan McBride and Teddy Stigma, especially for the tag team titles, they have a rematch clause in their contract. And you know, the winner of this match, besides... Uh, being able to embarrass their opponents are going to have a great claim to the to be the next challengers to NES's tag team titles. That is correct. And do, does the best of round have pink studs on their belts? Yes, they do. Is correct? Oh my goodness. Well, it's not pink studs. They're just pink belt loops. Oh my goodness. Using Bruce's foot to send Ryan McBride right into it. Choking him in the corner. There you see a snap there. Choking him again. They're just throwing the rules right out the window. You hear the fans chanting for USA. There you see Bruce Maxwell, I believe it is. He's in there with Ryan McBride. That was a close fist right there. The referee needs to pay better attention. Oh, Ryan McBride just catches him by the leg. And in comes TJ Cannon, and both of them are now beating on McBride. Now that rear naked choke on Ryan. Trying to keep him in their corner. Referee is arguing, he's saying, I did not see the tag. See, TJ Cannon has Ryan McBride in that chin lock. Putting all the pressure down on the lower back, and the club to the head. You gotta see how far, how far Ryan McBride, Teddy Stigma, and the best around have come. They all debuted on EWA's free practice session type shows, and they have came a long way since each team has debuted on those shows in the past. Right now, folks, this is personal. Okay, okay. Completely off the wrestling part of this, but it's going to bother me until I ask one of you guys. Is hot pink like a secondary color to the Canadian people nowadays? Yes. It the Heart Foundation revolutionized the color pink. For pink Canadian is the new world. Exactly. Just remember, Bobby, they're bringing it back. And that was beautiful. He just springboarded off the top rope and came right down on the back of McBride. 
So is Cole Calloway Canadian? No, he's just crazy. He's just a little strange then. Exactly. Now you understand. Oh, here we see that running leg drop. There's the first. Followed by a second. And he hits a third. May I say, only in Canada will you run in place. You gotta wonder what he was thinking when he thought of that. Was he possibly running on a treadmill and lost his balance and fell and somehow created that leg drop? Effective nonetheless. He makes a tag and in comes TJ. Sets him up in the corner, a whip off, McBride reverses. Hot shot with a little bit of, oh! A little bit of momentum and it was cut off just like that. That's going for a tornado DDT. Oh, McBride stops it. Oh, and he hit the DDT anyways. It looked like Ryan McBride was going for a Northern Lights suplex. Because that was reversed into a DDT. And he just did that right in McBride and Stigma's corner. Of course, Stigma's going to come in and break up the tag. Or, I'm sorry, the pin. He throws, oh, he throws McBride to the outside. And here comes Bruce putting the boots to McBride. And we see TJ having words with the fans. So he's putting the back of his throat. foot on McBride's throat. <laughs> there they go with those back and forth tags. They're really cutting this ring in half, keeping Ryan in their corner and just bringing the punishment. One thing I don't understand with TBA is what's the sense with a quick tag, hopping over the top rope with a stomp to the back and then tagging right back out? Wait, oh. So, oh! That will definitely not feel good. Very in, innovative maneuver from the best around. And Stigma does not like what he's seeing. He comes right in and kicked to the back of Bruce. Looks like they're going for it again. McBride lands on oh, his feet. On oh, and they don't even realize it. They turn. Surprise. Tag to Stigma. Oh, but they attack Stigma. Stigma throws them both off. Shot to TJ. Shot to Bruce. Shot to TJ. Shot to Maxwell. Maxwell is down. He takes TJ Cannon into the ropes. A big side kick. under a clothesline. Oh, and a running kick to the face. Oh, and here comes the hammer and sickle, it looks like. Oh, oh no, goes down the back. Pushes them in. Leapfrog. Oh, and to a drop toe hold. And a drop kick to the face. Now Stigma's compromised. Is it going to be enough for even the three count? No, it won't. Very nice tag maneuver from Ryan McBride and Teddy Stigma. He got a two count, but unfortunately the other best around member just broke up that pin. Going for the hammer and sickle again. McBride right. in it. Oh, oh now McBride. Beautiful. They modified that into a tag team maneuver. Here we go, Ryan McBride and Teddy Stigma now have the best around compromise. They need to follow up. Oh, schoolboy. Only oh, a two count. I thought Ryan and Teddy might have been 
waving the Canadian flag right there. Tagged McBride behind their back. McBride comes in. Ooh. Double punch, double shot to the head. Oh, now sweeps out the elimination. Leg. Days of the Eliminators in ECW, and that's it. Ryan and Teddy win. And we see it, fans. Ryan McBride and Teddy Stigma are victorious. This means, of course, that the best around is going to have to wave the American flag. The former EWA Tag Team Champions get a little bit of satisfaction. They win this match, and you gotta imagine the next step is they're gonna want that title shot. The referee is presenting the flag. It's time for the best around to step up, man up, and wave the flag. They lost the match. Loser waves the flag. For Bobby, this is Kyle. We will see you guys on January 9th, same place. Tall Cedars Hall and Park Row. Remember, EWA Ringside every Sunday in your area. Check local